Time to continue with uh, the motor mount. Last uh, video was a bit of a disappointment, but I think I got those problems uh, solved now. Let's see, uh, what did I do? Um, first I reversed the current, which made a huge difference. The uh, motor somehow isn't uh, bumping around as much when uh, running in the right direction. I don't know why. That still got me puzzled. And then I replaced the bearings. I was hoping that uh, that would make a difference, but it didn't. Next I placed some uh, rubber pads on the, all the, the corners of the lathe, hoping that that would dampen any vibration. No noticeable change there. Then I put some extra tension on the spring by uh, uh, changing the uh, mounting bracket. Then I tried a few different uh, belts and they were all used ones and they didn't uh, make much difference. And then I found a old stock one which had a bit of dry rot and that one um, is working a bit better. There's less uh, vibration in the lathe now. It's actually the belt that's on there now. Uh, I also found out with this uh, belt that the grooves in uh, my pulley weren't deep enough so I also had to recut those. Um, after all these changes I still had uh, a bit of vibration on the on the lathe. It wasn't as bad as before where I could uh, actually see the uh, tool post uh, just shaking a bit. There's one more thing that I wanted to try and uh, that's what I'll show you next. I made up a small bracket that I can use to uh, lock the uh, uh, motor mount in place. I didn't want to do this because uh, this will uh, well increase the amount of uh, things that you need to do to change the belt but it really makes a big difference. With this bracket locked down there is less vibration in this uh, lathe than on my uh, cheap Chinese lathe so that's uh, a good thing and um, when I installed a nice easy to operate uh, knob on here I guess belt changes uh, won't be uh, a problem. I'm gonna demonstrate uh, the uh, the effect of this bracket so I'll run the lathe and you can see it uh, uh, the mower moving it around and then I will lock it up and you hopefully see the difference. effect is uh, very easy to uh, to feel if you lay your hand on the headstock. I think maybe a new belt uh, might make a difference because this one has a bit of dry rot although I do think it's getting better. I guess it's loosening up a bit. So now I'm gonna measure the speed for um, all three pulley settings at uh, different frequencies starting with uh, 10 Hertz. Okay here we go. This is a uh, 10 Hertz. That's about 50. It's 20 Hertz. About, na about 100. 30 hertz, about 150.
40 hertz, almost 200, 50 hertz, almost 250, and 60 hertz, about 290. Alright, I'm going to measure the rest of them and uh, write them down. And here are the uh, results. I uh, especially like the ones for the uh, fastest uh, pulley uh, combination. I average things out to half a decimal. So that really worked out nice. Um, I don't think that 10 Hz will be uh, all that usable. There won't be a, a lot of power. 20 Hz might also be a problem. But I think this is a nice range for um, for uh, these uh, plain uh, copper bearings. And I can always go faster than 600 by uh, overdriving the uh, motor a bit more. It's now uh, limited at 60 Hz, but I think I can go to 120 Hz. Um, but that will be too much. 70, 80 Hz, I don't think that will be a problem for these uh, motors and these bearings. But uh, running faster than 600, I don't think it will be. Uh, I'm not sure if these bronze bearings can take it. Um, let's see if I can uh, stop this thing uh, running at uh, 10 Hz. No problem. Alright, let's try again. Yeah. It's uh, slipping on the small pulley. It's slipping on the big pulley and the small one. Um, there might be a bit oil on the belt because the oil from the uh, bearing is leaking down here so when you change the belt you can uh, get some oil in there because when I tried this before I wasn't able to stop it so I'm a bit surprised that uh, I can stop it uh, that easy now. Let's try the big one as well. Again at 10 Hz. Yep. Slipping on the small pulley. Well, that's easier than expected. Uh, I guess I'll. Um, well, once I got that new belt, I'll try again. Well, that's it for now. Next uh, will be some test cutting after I uh, adjust uh, the bearings as good as I can. <laughs>